So the next chapter we've got in the epic story is to go back to Oskalad. Um, so we might as well do that now and see what they have to say for themselves after we report back with the uh, the news of uh, what's going on in uh, Oskalad. Your friend, the dwarf Broin? He cannot be found. Arkador gave me a message for you, Atlanio. Your friend, the dwarf Broin. He cannot be found. He has been missing ever since you left to recall the scouts. Arkador does not want to wait for him. He says that he wants to be rid of Mazog once and for all, and have the errand completed. Speak with me when you are ready, and I will bring you to the Hidden Guard so that you can discuss the matter further with them. Will you not speak with Arkador? Will he not speak with Arkador? I know that Broin will want to be a part of this final stage of the mission. And Arkador must not let this anger blight him to the dangers of haste. Tensions run high among the remaining elves of the Hidden Guard. One of their number slain, the other dying from a deadly poison. And now the dwarf Broin has disappeared on the eve of the journey's end. So we're going to try and do the prisoner exchange now. What is the meaning of this at Laniel? While you were recalling the scouts on the perimeter of Dolgadur, the dwarf Bruin vanished from Osgalad. He told no one where he was going, and right on the eve of the exchange of Mazog for his kin. You had spoken for him at Laniel. You failed to speak of his cowardice. Do all dwarves abandon their companions when the road turns treacherous? The dwarf is not coming back. We do not know that, Arkador. But it is not difficult to see. We came here for him, but only one of our friends have died or are dying. Arkador! No, Kutron, I will not be silent. Why should he hold his tongue? He speaks words of truth. My kind have nothing but hatred for the dwarves. But for the elves, there was something else. There was fear. My father spoke of elves proud and terrible, as foes to be feared. Where are they now? Where are they now? They stand before you. Your words are empty, prisoner. No! It was the whim of the dwarves that brought you here, and they have abandoned you. That is not so, Mazog. Quell your speech, or it will be quelled for you. But he is not wrong, Kucheron. Where is Broin? The dwarf returns. Browin! What is this? Latugamas Pagu! So let's speak to Browin. There is little time to explain it, Laniel, so I must be quick. After you gave the Lydris to Mazog, and the more I dwelled upon it, the more I came to regret their necessity. If only another dose could be made. I spoke with the elf Barvasane atop the great tower here in Ostgalad and she said that more unmarked venom sacs of the Sewerfil might be found with time, but that the Seragloss flower is so rare that finding another one would be impossible. The conditions for such a flower to grow are so specific that only if the growing season could be slowed might such a flower still be found. I walked through the forest for many hours heading north, and passed into lands beyond the reach of the Golden Host. I walked and walked and walked, and just as I was about to turn back in defeat, I beheld a grave among the tangled undergrowth. A stream flowed by its side, and now and then droplets of the water splashed atop the mound, where bursting forth grew a single flower, still in season. With this second Cerogloss flower and another unmarked venom sack, another dose of the Lydris might be made. And here it is. You need to drink this, Asuriel.
there. Look! Already a serial strength returns. The Lydris is working to fight the Griga or poison. I... I do not know what to say. While I railed unjust at an unjust fate, the dwarf combed the forest for many miles to find a way to save a serial. It should have been me, Adlaniel. I cannot believe I was beginning to listen to the words of Mazog. Now there are no delays. We will go to the gates and exchange Mazog for the prisoners and be done with him at last. So here we are now, we're at the gate of Dolgodur. Over here, Adlaniel. I am sorry, Adlaniel. Give me just a moment. Brown leans on his walking stick and tries to catch his breath. I walked many miles to the north in search of the Ceroglos flower, and though I have my father's hardiness, it was still a most taxing journey. That it ended in success, and that Assyria will recover from the Grigale poison, was enough to give me further strength, but... One more moment, my friend. I will have my breath back in a moment. Can I speak with you, Adlaniel? I was most wrong about the dwarf Broin, Adlaniel. I have come to regret my words about him, and perhaps about all dwarves. To make such a seemingly futile journey in search of the one thing that might save someone he barely knows, someone not even of his own race. He showed a fortitude that I had thought only elves could possess. And he did it with much less complaining than I have done. But look at him. His journey north into the far reaches of Mirkwood has taken a toll, even on his stout form. He needs to rest. The guards at the gate ahead will see his exhaustion as weakness, and we cannot afford that. Will you tell him to remain here in such a way as to spare his feelings? He has proven himself to me, and to the others for the rest of time. He has no need to accompany us the rest of the way. He helped a serial, and now I wish to help him save his cousin and the rest of the dwarves. I do not want the guards at the gate to think that we are weak at Laniel. They would not think so if they knew the distance I travelled, and in so short a time. Broin laughs. I wonder if that will be the main verse of the glorious tale of Broin the Mighty after all. It did not seem so glorious when I was hurrying through the dark tripping over stones and treacherous fruits, searching for a flower that, that might not even exist in the world any longer. Maybe my part in all this is over at Laniel. I do not want to hurt the negotiations for Bori. I will remain here and guard the rear. I trust that Arkador and the others will be able to fulfil this mission. Thank you, Adlaniel. It feels good to have a reason beyond revenge for this errand of ours. I still burn with hatred for the orcs, but now too I desire to rescue the dwarves, whereas before it was only a vague purpose. We will do this now, for Broin. Do not do this, Confrakis! Set me free! I will trouble your kind no more. You are passing that gate, Mazog, willingly or unwillingly. I wonder at his reluctance to join his friends. I do not. I think Mazog may find he has few friends beyond these walls. And I think he knows it. It is time to go. What is this? Who dares approach this fortress? Only those with the courage to do so and an offer to make. An offer? What are the terms of this offer? They are not for your ears, gatekeeper. Sigileth, it is fine. All dealings come through me. We come bearing the Orc Mazog, trespasser upon the kingdom of the dwarves. We seek to trade his life for the lives of the dwarves imprisoned within Dol Guder. I cannot speak to this. Wait here. 
You will answer to these trolls if you try anything suspicious. Well, here we are, Atlaniel. Now we will see if this errand was not as foolhardy as first it seemed. I will have Kumiev at the ready, in case we find our first belief unjustified. The gatekeeper returns! It's right, you lot! I should have known this rabble was yours, Atlaniel. Your offer does not interest me, Atlaniel. What use do I, Goraful, have for a useless orc such as Mazog? Lord of caves? He is lord of nothing. The dwarves crawl all over his caves like worms on mouldy bread. Bolg would be ashamed of his son, and Azog would slay him for dishonouring his family line. But it would humour me to hold Mazog in the dungeons of this fortress until the world's ending so he may have time to think about how he failed his master. I will accept your offer. These three dwarves will go free, and I will accept custody of the orc Mazog. None of those dwarves is boring, Laniel. I thought not. They have been cruelly mistreated and seem close to death. But where is Bori? These terms are not acceptable, Goroful. Where is the dwarf Bori? The dwarf called Bori is not part of this deal. I have offered you the lives of these three. I am receiving one prisoner, and you are receiving three. You think this to be unfair? Consult with your associate, Atlaniel, if you must. I do not like this, Atlaniel. We must make Goriful turn Bori over to us, in addition to these three dwarves, or we will have failed. What can we do? I cannot move! Perhaps you are right. Perhaps the deal was rather uneven. Shank. You must show mercy! These two for Mazog, then. Very well, if you are certain. Come here, Orc. My powers are vast, but I must confess something to you. I do not possess the authority to treat with you. I am not the master of this fortress. I am merely a guest. No, these are the masters, and I did not consult them before making this deal. Therefore it must be rescinded. Archers! Can your sorcery match a dwarf's might? Bonk. Gorful's spell is broken. I can move again. There we go, we've got three of the Nazgul there, the Blade of Lebanon, the Lieutenant of Dolgodur, and the Gloom of Nern. I defy you! I defy you and your fell master! Suddenly you hear the voice of Galadriel in your head. Fly! You cannot stand against this foe. Arkador! No! Burin! Atlaniel! Kucharon! Now! Run! So we've lost another member of the Hidden Guard. Survive and escape if you can. Lord Celeborn believed some of the Nazgul had come to Dol Guldur, but did not know for certain which of the nine had done so. Now we do, though it is le of little comfort to us. The Lieutenant of Dol Guldur commands the others. He is second only to the Witch King, he who hailed from Angmar in the north. The Lieutenant of the Tower rules the fortress. It is he who struck down Arkador. The Gloom of Nern was a wild man of that land. He is peopled now by only slaves of Mordor. He wields a warhammer in battle. I know nothing of the Black Blade, save that he held from once from Lebanon. He is fully a thrall now, as are all the Nazgul, 
though it was not always so. The Golden Host cannot think to stand against these three. It is hopeless. Sigilef is uh, kicking a rock. Sigilef ignores you, her face a mask of anger and grief. You decide to leave her be. It is over at Laniel. So many have died, and still Bori languishes within the dungeons of Dolgodur. How can we hope to fight such evil? Arkador gave his life that we might have time to escape. We must not forget him. It is no use at Laniel. We have failed. Let us go inside Ostgalad, though there be little we can do now. The hidden guard has failed. The hidden guard has failed at Laniel. Arkador is slain, Mazog is taken, and Bori remains in captivity. Sigilef is mourning with Asuriu inside Gadagar. She is asked not to be disturbed. The main arm of the Golden Host has camped Thangulhard to the east. Perhaps it was foolish to think that treating with the enemy was possible at Laniel, but there was enough to, that it, enough to gain that it seemed worth the attempt. It has now failed, but the forces of Dol Guldur will see the effect of betraying us beneath a flag of peace. The main arm of the Golden Host has camped at Thangulhard, a camp east of here, in Gathvers. Present yourself to Ningler or there, for she will have something of a runekeeper such as you could do for the benefit of the Golden Host in the next stage of the campaign. A word of warning. Ningler was stern, and not given to idle jest. Do not try her patience, or it will go ill for you. So we can take a, uh, one of his uh, jackets, loot the dead man's corpse, get shiny items. Uh, but this is still not quite as good as the Moria set, so I'm not going to wear that. And it looks crap, so sod it. So we'll accept that quest then. And we will go now over to Fanglehad. So sod it, I'll be full coin it. Good stable master. Meh. Whatever. So we talk to Ninglero. We are met in time of war. Though it is a war for which lasting victory may not come. Are you here to lend your aid, Laniel? We are met in time of war. Though it be a war for which lasting victory may not come. Caliborn has started the Golden Host marching not to win the day, but as a delaying action. Even a failure here will be of some value, for the real aim of the Golden Host is to keep the attention of the enemy, and that we have for certain. I hope we will live long enough for it to be of consequence. The Orcs of Dol Guldur are being made into a dangerous fighting force. The Orcs of Dol Guldur are being made into a dangerous fighting force at Laniel, under the leadership of ferocious Uruk commanders. A great force of the creatures are being organised into troops in several great Orc camps in the northern reaches of Gathburz. Bring the fight to these camps, Burzkala, Kufuz, Hongoy and defeat their Uruk commanders, for without them the Orcs will be less effective, and the oncoming assault must be weaker. You should also find any battle plans that may be lying about these camps. We may learn what to, when to expect their attack, that we may brace against it. So we need to defeat an Uruk commander in each of the three camps, so these three ones to the north, um, and we need to find plans of battle. So each of these camps are the ones um, I like the, the proper stony fortresses rather than the wooden camps. So if we just jump off down here then, do our usual tactical insertion, and start heading eastwards so we can get the uh, the ruins that are just to the east. I don't know how much of this stuff we can sneak past. Oh, there's uh, some branches. So we want to go up them stairs into that fortress. Now we might be able to do this jump and sneak around the back. There we go, we're in Kufus. So plans of battle are on the side there and on here as well. We need five of them. Uh, these will be available in each of the camps. So there should be plenty of spares. Hopefully we can pull this guy on his own. Yeah, there we go. A 
we might even be able to sneak this because he's moved out of the way. I might be able to grab it without actually aggroing him. There we go. So we need Uruk Commander. We only need one of them. So we can kill one of these guys up the top here. SF Fire, Scathing Mockery, Fury Ridicule, Rit of Fire, Smoldering Wrath. And he's dead. Nice and simple. Good rotation. Uh, so now we need Uruk Commanders in Burzkala and Hongoy. So if we go northeast. So the next one's going to be in these ruins up here. And again, we'll do pretty much the same thing. There should be at least two um, plans of battle in there. But we might have to fight a couple of mobs to get inside the compound. So, sneak up. Right, I'm going to have to kill the poison just because he's right in front of the door. Yeah, I thought that guy was coming in. Let's drop the rock then, sod it. But he was near the plans of battle anyway, so we did need to kill him. There we go. So, there's one plan there. Makes free. Uh, can avoid you. There's another plan around the back here. And then we need this guy up the top. That's the one in Hongoi. And if I just grab this node. So last up we need an Uruk commander in Burzkala, which should be the great big fortress that we were sorting earlier that has all the siege weapons in. So again, we should be able to just sneak in via the uh, little window downstairs. And then make our way upstairs, because I think the commanders are only on the top floor. I might be wrong about that, we'll see. having to swing a bit wide because uh, Commander Afterup was uh, running around there. Right. So if we come around here, tactical insertion via the window, try and avoid the skirmisher. That one I might be able to sneak around. I think the commander's literally at the top of the stairs here, so if we can just sneak around the corner. Is he on the right up here? Oh, he's literally there, perfect. So then now all we need is a battle plan, and there is one in the distance over there. Oh, no, well, we've pulled fifth for a And that didn't stun him. Wonderful. Ouch. I'm dead. I'm not dead. I need him to burn. I'm chilling rhetoric to slow him. No! Oh, Jesus Christ, that was close. He was in range. He was probably inducting his animation to hit me there, and he would have killed me. Jesus. That was close. Right, let's heal up rather than running around blind corners like a scrub. Uh, yep, because that would have ended badly if I did. Perfect. There we go, he's dead. Right. Gonna heal. So, plans of battle over here. I think there should be some more up on this floor as well. So, that makes five. So, we need to go back to Ninglaril. I'll just cheat back. You have done well to sow disarray in the camp of the orcs. 
I could hear the shouts coming from the orc camps even from here, Edlaniel. You have done well to sow disarray in the camps of the orcs. Much of these plans are indecipherable to me, but I do recognise the word dush, meaning sorcery. And this circled area can only mean one thing. Peril for the elves lies here. This foul craft of the enemy cannot be permitted. According to these plans of battle, sorcerers under the tutelage of Gorafal are seeking to draw fell spirits to the service of the armies of Dol Guldur. This is not the first we have heard of this, but it supports the words of Sulfel, a Maladrim scout who passed this way when returning to Osgalad. This foul craft of the enemy cannot be permitted. Travel south and east into the Ashen Slades, and seek out Sad Dulder. Defeat any of the fell spirits the sorcerers there have already bound to their service. Defeat too the students of Gorafur, and seize the spell tomes with which they work their evil. None of these sorcerers will have Gorafur's skill, but they will still be dangerous foes. Underestimate none of the enemy's forces. So we accept that, and now we have to go all the way down to the Ashen Slates. So we go down to the, the camp, well, not even the camp, it's like the, the ruins down at the very east there. Um, but did I have a Vector Crest to send me down there already? I don't. I'm surprised by that. But uh, yeah, that, that's all there is then for the Gathburs region, uh, not including the Epic. So next up, we have to do the Ashen Slades, which is like the last landscape area. There's some little bits and pieces to do in Dol Guldur, but mostly it's like instance and epic story related. Um, so I think we we're going to stop there and uh, pick up with the Ashen Slades next time. So until then, see you guys later. Yeah.